converting decimal uh, or numbers in base 10 to numbers in base 2 or binary which is the 8 bit uh, we can use the 8 bit system powers of 2 so 1 2 8 64 32 16 8 4 2 and 1 so the first example is 45 in base 10 if we will convert it in binary so 1 to 8 for the 1 to 8 place it would be 0 64 is also 0 32 is 1 so uh, so removing 32 from 45 we have 13 so 16 so it's not it's gonna be 0 8 gonna be 1 and then so th from 13 and then we will deduct 8 so we will only have 5 so 5 so 4 can satisfy it so 5 minus 4 is equals to 1 so 2 would be 0 and 1 would be 1 next is 58 base 10 so 128 is 0 64 0 32 there's 1 16 there's 1 8 so uh, so 58 minus 32 we have 26 so 26 minus 16 we still have 10 so 8 yes so 10 minus 8 we still have 2 so 4 we will put 0 2 1, one and then from the 1's place gotta be 0 next 124 so 128 is still exceeding 124 so it's gonna be 0 64 there's gonna be 1 so 124 minus 64 is 60 so for 32 yes you gotta put 1 60 minus 32 is 28 and so 16 we can still deduct 16 from 28 and then 28 minus 16 is uh, 12 so we can still deduct 8 from it 12 minus 8 is 4 so 4 and then we don't have anything left so 0 0 next 253 where well we have been told in the video that the 8-bit system can carry uh, decimal numbers from 0 up to 255 so the 255 will look like 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 so 253 is just um uh, 255 minus 253 is just 2 so we can deduct 2 so instead of putting 1 in the 2 screen we can put 0 okay and last 1 2 3 4 1234 so uh it exceeds the 255 limit so we can use a different way of uh converting it so what you can do Okay, so since it doesn't fit, we can use a different way of converting it. We will not use it. We can use another method. So we will uh, do a continuous division. By 2. And we will get the remainder. So 1, 2, 3, 4 divided by 2 so we will put two columns here this is the quotient and this is the remainder so 1234 divided by 2 is 617 with no remainder next 617 div divided by 2 is equal to 308 with remainder 1 so 308 divided by 2 is equals to 154 without remainder 154 divided by 2 is equals to 77 77 without remainder so 77 divided by 2 is equals to 
is equals to 38 with the remainder of 1 and then 38 divided by 2 is equals to 19 without remainder 19 divided by 2 oh my god is equals 19 divided by 2 is 8 remainder 1 sorry 9 remainder 1 9 divided by 2 is 4 remainder 1 and then continue it here wait 4 divided by 2 is equals to 2 without remainder and then 2 divided by 2 is 1 without remainder and then 1 divided by 2 is 0 with the remainder of 1 so we have to make sure that the last quotient is 0 so once you have this already once you have already um had the quotient of zero we will get the remainder from the last one to the top so one zero zero one one zero one zero zero one zero 